Right, hey guys, this is um, part of the uh, how to knee drag, or how to get your knee down video. Um, just going to go over a few things to start with. Um, the most important thing is you need to wear the gear. Um, trousers, pants, whatever you want to call them, uh, boots, gloves, jacket, and obviously you need your helmet um, and you need knee sliders uh, or knee pucks, um, depending on uh, where you come from, what you call them. I must stress this enough, if you are a beginner, um, do not attempt this. Um, you need to become familiar with your bike, you need to be comfortable with your bike, you need to be comfortable leaning over, um, you know, like smooth downshifts, um, counter steer. You need to know all of this um, off by heart so it's, um, it's second nature. Um, if you don't know this, um, please don't try this. Um, I don't want anyone to get hurt trying this. Um, that's not what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I've been riding since I was four years old. Um, I'm now 32. Um, I've never come off on the road, touch wood. Um, I've never got any speeding tickets. You know, I'm, I've got a clean license. Um, I've had no warnings. Um, so I, I've got plenty of experience, is what I'm trying to say. I've got plenty of experience on uh, on a motorcycle. Yeah, I must stress, I've never been taught how to do this. It's something I've looked at, I've re researched, I've watched British Superbikes, World Superbikes, MotoGP. Um, I've watched how they enter the corners, what they do during the corners. Um, I've also watched people crashing um, and how their body position is. And, you know, all these things I've then put together um, and I never, you know, I didn't get my knee down straight away. It took me a good 18 months of trying um, when I had my um, my last bike, which was my uh, Kawasaki 636. Um, so, you know, please don't go out expecting to be able to do it just like that. Um, it's going to take practice, um, a lot of patience, and bit by bit by bit, you will get there. Um, I must say as well, you don't need to be able to knit your knee down, be a fast, safe, good rider. Um, if you can't do it, please don't stress about it. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, just go out, ride and enjoy yourself. Um, but that being said, the feeling you get when your knee's down, dragging on the tarmac, um, you know, it's a great feeling. Uh, it makes me smile. So um, that's that for the minute. Um, we're going to go over a few other things. Uh, on the bike um, and uh, we'll take it from there so, cheers right guys first thing you need to make sure is that your bike is uh, working 100% make sure there's no issues with it you know like bearings anything with your bearings make sure your chain's good uh, make sure it's not too tight um, your fork seals make sure there's um, they're not weeping you need to make sure your bike is as 100% you know, as it can be um, no issues um, there's no point putting yourself in a position where um, bike failure um, could could put you down the road uh, it's not something i want anyone to, <laughs> to come back and you know, feed to me that um, something happened i do not want anyone to get hurt doing this all right so uh, please guys just make sure you're um, wearing all the gear um, go to the gear video now Right, the gear you'll need um, to be wearing um, to make sure you're properly protected. Uh, first of all, you're going to be wearing boots. Um, these ones, <coughs> this is a full race boot, uh, Oxstar titanium sliders on the toes. Um, just need to make sure you have a full um, boot protecting your ankle, um, your toes, and you know, just, just make sure, just in case the worst should happen, you want to make sure you're fully protected on, uh, around your legs, uh, around your feet, sorry. Um, gloves. If you go down, first thing is going to go down. You know, you put your hands out to protect yourself. Make sure you have good gloves on. Um, jacket. Um, my jacket's got full armour, uh, back protector, um, shoulder pad, e um, elbows. It's got sliders on the jacket. Obviously, the best that <laughs> you need to be wearing um, all the protective uh, protective gear for doing this. Just like I say, just in case the worst should happen. And of course, you need um, riding trousers. Um, these are my leather, uh, it's part of my two piece. Um, I have a race suit as well, um, a one piece race suit. 
and of course you're going to need these um, knee pucks, knee sliders whatever you want to call them um, I would suggest not using titanium ones um, because you get a lot more resistance they drag a lot more obviously you're, you're grinding metal rather than um, plastic um, by all means once you get comfortable doing getting your knee down touching down um, you know move on to um, the titanium ones if you if, if, you, if, you, if you so wish um, but yeah this is basically all of course one more thing I forgot it. Uh, your lid. Make sure you got a, a helmet on. Um, I'm pretty sure any of you who want to be getting your knee down, if you if you're wearing leather trousers, you got a helmet on. But um, please, guys, just make sure you're always wearing um, all of this gear um, whilst trying to do this. All right, right. Let's uh, go to the next bit. Right, the other thing you need to make sure make sure you got your tires are good um, I've got a brand new set of um, Michelin 2 CTs on um, at the minute um, you know make sure the tire pressures are correct um, just go to the manufacturers uh, specifications I think um, I run a couple of PSI um, under under what they say um, that's my preference um, but you know if you not haven't done this before please just run stock stock pressures once you get it down you know, once you get um get the uh, get the art of it down um you can then start messing around with um you know your tire pressures generally this if you run a couple of psi less it gives you a slightly bigger contact patch but much so much you never you know you're not going to realize it um, when you first started um so yeah make sure you've got good trap depth um you know, make sure there's no blisters or scallops um on your tires um yeah like I say front and rear tires make sure they're good um, yeah uh, other thing you need to make sure is um, you're comfortable laying the bike over on it's you know lean, leaning it over um, personally unless you need to be able to get your your bike lent over make sure so the strip you have at the edge of your tire I mean I haven't got any strip to, <laughs> there's no strip there to show you unfortunately um, but basically if you put a finger width if you're um, you can lean the bike over and you've got like a finger width um, to the edge of the tyre um, you you should be able to get your knee down um, and if you can get your knee down with that much tread just think how much further you can lean the bike you can get your knee down with a bigger a bigger chicken chicken, oh, chicken strip I'm not saying chicken strip that's, that's not the right terms um, if the strip is bigger you can do it um, get your knee down but then you're basically reaching and the technique you're using to get your knee down isn't correct um, so you know before you try it just make sure you're comfortable leaning the bike over make sure you've got like half an inch three quarters of an inch uh, of a strip um, over like I say I haven't got any strip to show you um, I don't have any strips um, let's just try the front tire because normally I might have a strip on the front uh, no sorry cut out no um, just make sure that you are comfortable leaning the bike over and you can get it over to a certain point um, yeah, because if you can't get it over that far comfortably, um, you're basically, like I say, you're reaching, um, you're turning your knee out too far and you will not be doing it using the right technique um, to get the bike over. So yeah, just bear that in mind, guys. All right. Well, I'm now in my, my normal riding position, head looking forward. Now, before you enter the corner, you want to try and shift your body weight over. Um, when you do this, you, you you sort of lift your backside or your ass off the seat and slide it across. Okay, um, you do this because if you drag the bike, you, know, you can see you can see when I'm stationary, it's the bike's just shaking. So if you lift your lift lift your backside over, and um, you, you, just, you everything's just smooth. Okay, so uh, you do this just before you enter in the corner. Um, as you're entering the corner, what you need to do is look to the apex or past the apex, okay? So you need to look past past where you're going. Look, Always look where you're going. Do not look straight ahead. Always look where you're going, okay? Um, very important. If, you, if you're leaning across and you look straight, that's where you're going to end up. You always need to follow um, 
basically the bike will follow where you're looking okay all right okay guys um bikes on the paddock stand it's keeping it bot upright um which is the only place i can really do it in the garage it's excuse the mess um but if, when it's on the paddock stand it means i can lean on the bike and i could try and show you the body position you need um without being on the move okay um like i say i'm wearing shorts and t-shirt as well um hopefully that means you'll be able to see my body position better rather than all covered up in uh, in leathers the biggest thing i've noticed about um people if you go to as Aaron mickey mouse or whatever his name is he's on the mulholland uh the snake um whatever you call it over in um in, the, in america and he has lots of videos he's, he's got this corner where he always sits takes videos and you see he sees a lot of people crash um generally they're crashing when they're trying to get the knee down and you can guarantee most of the people when they are um going around the bend and they're not doing it correctly is the body position the body is twisted okay so basically when you're on the bike in your riding position right when you enter the corner imagine there's a section this section here is like a wall okay you cannot see through it right it's solid and you look your walls probably sort of you know this sort of wide so when you're leaning off the bike when you see them on um the Mulholland they, their ass is off the seat but their head is still in the middle of the bike and then they're leaning and then they're looking to the apex and what this is doing is your body is out of line with the bike so basically you're fighting all the time then your knee has to go out a lot further you can see your knee has to come out a lot further um to get the right angle to get your knee down so basically they are leaning the bike a lot more than what they need to so if you imagine that wall is there again so basically you're looking at the corner you can't see the apex at the minute because there's a physical wall blocking you so when you slide your bum off the seat your backside off the seat you're bringing your head over as well okay that means your body is parallel with the bike okay it's off lens i mean i'm exaggerating slightly here and then your knee will automatically come out and your other knee automatically hits the side of the tank and then i what i do is i just tend to tend to lean over and that's it and that's the position and then you're looking where you're going you're looking past the apex to the apex or you know, look as far to the corner as you can all right so that's in my opinion is, is the correct body position when you see them on Mulholland they're like this and then they're leaning and then they're turning and nothing is nothing is lined up when you come into the corner you've got the brick wall brick wall is there as you move across you're lifting your bum okay I should have mentioned that before you don't slide if you watch me now if I slide if I slide you can see that the bike you know it, it wobbles what you want to do is you want to just lift, take your weight off, off, the, off the seat with your legs. So you're lifting and then you're moving. And then you're doing this in one movement. Okay. When you're doing this, you're then pressing on the right. This is a, obviously for a right-hand corner. As you're coming across, automatically your weight is, is leaning more onto your right hand. Okay. Which is then making the bike counter steer which is tipping the bike over. And then once you get down there, you're in the right position, you stop the counter steer, look through the corner, and away you go. Correct positioning of your foot and your leg. Um, don't ride with your heel on the pegs, your feet on the pegs, like this. Um, the main reason is, if you, it's more important on your left hand, because if you've got your, your foot underneath the shifter, uh, your foot underneath the shift like this your foot hanging down and then when you lean the bike over the chances are your foot will hit the floor um you know i don't know what would happen <laughs> you probably probably the bike would probably go down and uh you would not be impressed so always ride balls in the feet and the pegs and then when you lift lift over and you come across your ball of your foot is on the peg which means it can just roll around roll over and um that's that's where you want that's where you want to be okay not like this one because you don't have much balance on the bike because you're balancing trying to balance on your heel 
yeah, you just don't feel very stable. So if you're on your balls of your feet, like on yeah, and then when you're over, you, your weight is um, in a good place. Um, you feel like you're in control of where you are. Right, guys, I think that's all I can show you now um, without being on the bike moving. Um, if you have a paddock stand, I would um, I would urge you to um, put it on the put your bike on the stand, get on it, um, and try moving your body around. And make sure your like, your left knee, if you're going a right hander, is touching the tank, gripping yourself on balls um, on your balls, of your feet on the pegs, um, keeping your body in line with the bike as you lean off. Try and fix fixate or not fixate. Imagine that wall in front of you, um, which you have to try and look around with the top half. So your top half of the body is moving across with your head. So you, your body is parallel with your bike, leaning over. And then you're looking, looking for the apex, looking past, looking to the furthest point you can in the corner. Um, and yeah, so just try that on the stand. Um, try and get comfortable. Uh, get comfortable moving your body around, your body weight around. Um, and take it from there. Um, I would say, if you're not 100% on um, counter steering, um, AK47s has got a great video and um, uh, all about it. Explains it. He explains it very well, better than I can explain it. So I'm going to put a link around there somewhere. Um, entry into the corner. You need to make sure you're nice and nice and um, stable, nice and settled. You need to be able to downshift, get into the correct gear, um, doing it smoothly. Um, so go and check out another video. Um, Huskers GBRs have a very good video of it um, on how to downshift um, smoothly. So link is there. Um, and Baker X Derek, he's got a good video on body positioning on the bike. Uh, he touches on counter steering as well. Um, please just go and check these three videos out. I'll put links. That's Baker X Derek's um, links below in the description um, as always um, please even if you're savvy with it all if you're not 100 percent just go and have a just have a recap just get, get it in your head um, try and get it second nature all right guys um, next time you see me uh, we'll be um, out on the black stuff all right cheers guys